Good afternoon, good afternoon, and welcome everyone to AvaTrade live Q&A webinar. Uh, my name is Daniel, and I will be giving you the webinar today. As always, before we will begin, I would like us to go through a quick uh, sound check. I see people already commenting; it's good. Uh, so please comment in the question section that the sound is in okay, is uh, okay for you, and that you can see the chart here. And then that would be great. So I can know. Let me also check it on my end. Okay, it seems like it seems like it's working well. Can everybody see my screen though? The chart. Can everybody see the chart? Okay. Right. Thank you, Cleo. Okay, that's good. That's good, guys. So we're gonna begin. Let's uh, see the questions that we've received this week. We're gonna go through the structure to see how it's going to happen, what we'll do in every step. So firstly, we'll begin with the common questions. Those are questions that we determine by our team from other webinars and previous live Q&A uh, Q webinars and so on. Dynamic questions will be questions that you guys will ask along the webinar. So one of the privileges in this uh, webinar, guys, is that you can just shoot your question without permission or anything like that, and I will address it accordingly. Um, and of course, I'll leave uh, space for questions anyway, but feel free to put it down and uh, it will get its attention. Okay, thirdly, we'll have the links information and the webinar privileges, which is a little more informative kind of uh, thing we're gonna send you. And lastly, analysis. As you guys, you already know the drill. If we'll have questions regarding analysis, so we won't speak about analysis. If we'll have questions if we don't, and you want me to speak about analysis, I will. Okay, since this webinar is recorded, we're gonna make sure that it's recorded. There is just one, one more thing we must do. Okay, so any capital markets, any capital markets and trading information disclosed in this webinar is provided for uh, informative purposes only. It should not be constructed or applied as an investment advice recommendation or a suggestion. Okay, now I'll make sure that the webinar is recorded. Should take me uh, just a few moments, then I'm all yours and we will begin. Thank you very much. Okay, so everything seems in order. Uh, we're gonna, let's review the first question. So we said the common questions, the first questions that we received and see, okay, what they are. How to check budget for assets. Mm -hmm. How to check budget for assets. That's a question that I don't fully understand. How long does it take to withdraw? That's an easy one. How much money do I need to open one lot? That's okay. How this fundamental analysis works. Okay, not bad. How can I make a good strategy? This is this is a common one. Let's address this one. Uh, how can I know if I have the budget for assets? Or maybe the question is referring to what kind of budget I need for assets. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try that. And then we'll see how it how we can attack that. Okay, how mu how can I check? Can I? Okay, that makes more sense. And we're gonna find ourselves a nice asset to uh, to exercise this with. Uh, the market is dynamic. Does it mean it's always? Okay. Evolution trading is not only support and resistance. What other strategies out there? Well, Roberto, that's it's a good question, right? So we're gonna take your question, Roberto, and what we're gonna do is we are going to paste it over here. Hopefully it's in blue. How surprising. Okay, let's somehow can we make it black. Okay, it seems so. And there we go. 
Okay. Let's hope it's going to stay that way. Uh, nice one. Colin, how do you take a profit without closing the trade? That's a good one. It's also a good one. Let's see if we can... Uh, I'm not sure that you can do it in our platform, but you can do it on MT4 or MT5. Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can uh, if I can answer that question. Otherwise, I'll have to. Okay. Uh, yeah. Our question is: How can I check check the budget or assets? My budget, maybe. Right. This question is very, very confusing. How can I check the budget for assets? Necessary budget. Yeah. That might make more sense. The required budget for assets. Yeah. Guys, you should you should remember that sometimes I recompose the questions so it will make a bit more sense. Same with this with this thing. So how can I check the required budget for assets? Okay, that makes more sense. That by the way, um, that's called margin. Okay, the required uh, budget for assets. That's that's required margin, and that's exactly as that's question. How how much money do I need to open one lot with gold? But I assume that this question refers to prioritizing according to the necessary budget and then making uh, a good decision. So we're going to combine the questions, that one and this one. We're going to try. So this refers to gold. We're going to do this exercise on gold. No problem. You think they mean how to check if enough to do other trades yes yes i i think i think that that it's if you have the budget to diverse but again i i'm gonna explain it anyway i'm gonna do my best to explain it anyway uh yeah so this is just before i begin this is the web trader guy so whatever i'm doing here could be done through the browser you don't necessarily uh, you don't need to download anything this is a through our website just log in with your email and password and you're here this is by default how it looks uh, so to bring gold up what i'm going to do is i'm going to click here at the top left side and type gold and then click it from the list this is gold again once i have done that i on the right side i have the sidebar with all kind of things if i don't have it See, I clicked on the X to cancel it, but if I don't have it, I can click sell or buy, and then it's going to bring it up. Uh, then I'm going to expand it to make it a little more convenient for us by the two tiny arrows to the right of the toolbar. It's uh, a good question. Do we pay for Ava Protect? Yes, sir. Yes, we are. And I'm going to show you how it works in a, in a moment. Protect. Oh, yeah. This is why it looks a bit different. Yeah, good question, though. Uh, yeah, so gold. Let's see how much you cost. How can I check the... Okay, so we're going to get that in a sec. How much money do I need? One lot with gold. Guys, one lot is... Sorry. Lot is measuring unit. Okay, lots are one equals 10, one equals 100. This is at least, this is how it works in our platforms. In our platform, uh, 10,000 and for currencies, 100,000. Now I'm going to teach you here a lovely trick that I learned when I started. So that equals to... 10% of the asset. 
of sorry of a unit of a unit that means that means that one equals one unit that's actually yeah so one unit and then we have I know that just by doing that I'm gonna hear some coins hitting the ground which is okay okay so that's ten hundred thousands sorry no no that's a thousand yeah so we have ten hundred thousand and ten thousand okay let me just show you that for a second right does it make sense so that's oh that's with gold so sorry um, if we look at the load size and we look at gold again right gold and we put 0 0.01 you see so that's one unit if we take silver O, 0 0.01 is a hundred okay because silver is ten thousand so it's supposed to be this way and that's supposed to be that way there we go and in here yeah so that's a hundred because that's a percent of 10,000, uh, that's a, a percent. Sorry, that's supposed to be this way, and that's supposed to be that way, and this is supposed to be one. There we go. Gold, as an example, uh, crude oil. Let me show it to you. Okay, so we saw that with silver, it was 100, but with oil, it would be 10. Why? Because it's 10% out of 1,000, right? So 10 uh, a percent of 1,000, it's 10. A percent of 10,000 is 100. A percent of 100,000 is a 1,000. Uh, okay, so in the case that gold is 1 to 100, one lot will be 100. And in that case... It means that one lot equals 100. So the value is 100 times what's the price now? 1959, right? So that means it's approximately that number, right? Then we have in consider, we must consider the leverage. The leverage in this case is 1 to 20. Uh, please do it slower. I'm sorry, Josh. It's you know what? Y let me let me do it a bit slower. Let me do it a bit slower. If something is not understood, please tell me. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm a bit uh, because I have other questions and sometimes I don't get to it. So I had to uh, to do some fast forward. Okay, what I've explained here with the lots is that understood. Guys, you understood what I'm doing here? The trick that, I, that I'm showing you here? That's a percent. So 0.01, it's a percent. If this would be uh, right, so that would be 10, right? Is that understood, guys? Great, great, great. Just a second. Okay, so we're going to carry on. Like I said, the question is how much we need for one lot with gold. So one lot is 100 units. So that's the price times 100 because one lot is 100. And the margin, which is the budget, right? The budget is the margin. The margin is, the margin is an interpretation with the leverage. So if I am multiplied by 20, okay? 
So what it does is it lets you buy or sell more with more units with the same balance, right? In other words, if we're multiplied by 20, we just need 20 times less. So 20 times less brings us that number. Impact required. Did I put it right? You'll have to excuse my typos, guys. As you see, I'm doing a lot, a lot of things at the same time. So that means 9,000. Okay. Right? So this is the necessary budget for 100 units. If it would be only 10, obviously that's 10 times less and so on and so on. Oh, sorry. What I meant is that. So that's 10 times less. And 0 0.01 is 10 times less than that. Now, let's suppose that I took that one lot, right? And I'm occupying almost, uh, almost, uh, what did I just do? Oh boy. Okay. Um, yeah, so as I was explaining, this is what's needed for one lot if we take the other question in consideration regarding the budget, right? Let's just keep keep that segment. Okay. So one lot with gold. One buy with gold. One lot. That's nine thousand eight hundred almost dollars. Okay, that's one position, right? Right. So if I'm managing the budget, right, and I have this position with gold, right now I'm, I'm addressing, oh, sorry, what did I do? Oh, I wanted to take that to the, to the answer, and then I can put impact wired, right? So we're just going to paste it down there. So we want uh, forget. Where is my? Ah, there we go. All right. So this is the answer. This is the answer. Okay. I'm not sure that it will be as helpful to put the numbers like that. I would rather do value divided by leverage equals margin impact. And then value equals units multiply uh, asset price. That makes more sense. Okay, I'm just gonna minimize it a bit and we are good. Uh, yeah, now we're gonna check the budget. So what do you think about that? that budget is that okay if i'm going to use 97 percent okay that's 97 percent on a single position right so what do you think is that okay is my uh, budget well managed or you wouldn't do that so how can i check the required budget for assets right now Let's suppose that I want to diverse. That actually, do we have a question regarding strategies? Oh, there we go. Guys, we're gonna hit all of the birds with a single stone. Okay. So, um, yeah, why is not such a great, I see people commenting that this is not such a great decision. Why it's not such a great decision? Look how much profit I can make we are with a buy, right? Let's suppose that I'm gonna go even higher to the 2000 line, right? Oh, sorry. Right, what I'm doing now is I check the potential profit using a take profit. That this is a pending order. That means that this is a price that the platform will remember. We have three of those. We have one to take automatically the profit, one to take automatically 
unfortunately to stop the loss right so this is a price if it gets to that price god forbid um it's going to stop the position okay let's make it here it's a little more visible okay so what i'm doing now is i'm using a stop loss so if it goes beyond that it it will be stopped here thanks to the stop loss and if it goes to the 2000 this pending order is going to stop it with a profit okay so <clears throat> so look what what a lovely profit i can make 40 percent in a single position so tell me why is that not such a great uh budget wise right we are speaking about the budget the budget the budget uh, for assets so why is that not such a great decision using my i i mean i can afford it it's not that i can't afford it i can afford it right so why is that why is is that not such a great decision can i even get here though can i get here look at the necessary amount this is we said that this is the necessary amount right this is this is what i need to open let me let me put it down here then we can learn a bit better what happens if i can't comply to the margin margin uh how is it written impact sorry guys tell me what happens if i can't comply so what what happens if i don't have enough margin to get to 9800 is it the desktop version of avatray the answer is yes oh javed good to see you sir okay yeah exactly albert that's that's amazing that's amazing so i won't even get there i won't even get to the 2000 why because when i will be stopped when i will be stopped i will be stopped when i can't comply when i get below if if this if i'm losing from the 10,000, if i'm losing um more than 200 i won't even be able to sustain the position right exactly so that means that when i'm using such a big uh, portion of my uh, margin that means that i'm not managing my budget too well okay even if i can it doesn't mean that i should right i mean it could make a lot of profits but this is a, a large usage so what could be if let, let's try and reduce it by half see if it makes any difference okay will it is it is it a bit better now right i'm using uh, 5,000, maybe, okay, maybe. Let's reduce it to even more. I'll reduce it to 10 ounces, okay? And 10 ounces, um, and I'm gonna reduce that to here as well. There we go. There we go. Okay, so if, if, let's see, so do we have windows version please share link if any uh you don't need that javed you don't need that because this is uh you you can get to here if you only log with your email and password through the website through the chrome the google chrome or any other functional br uh, browser to be honest you don't need any link because this is the regular website avatrade.com uh where was i let me see the question again yeah so as i was explaining the budget here is reduced to 10 percent of what it was so now instead of that number we only have that number okay now let's keep going so we're gonna have another position with what else what else what else let's see crude oil how crude oil is doing yeah Let's take another one with crude oil, same pro, uh, portion, 0 0.1, that's, in this case, it's a 100 unit. In this case, it cost uh, 758. Okay, so second position, w uh, is that a buy? Yeah, buy with crude oil, right? 
it's no longer one lot guys that became 0 0.01 and that is oh sorry that was yeah there we go and in here and in here it's no that's the same yeah so this will cost yeah now we're not including analysis here or anything else we're just including the budget analysis is something you do as an addition and you check support and resistance and other additional some other additional things uh whether to take the position or not to take it or when to take it and so on but those specifications are not relevant for the question what's relevant for the question is the budget now uh okay so the initial in the initial position we were supposed to examine was one lot with gold one lot with gold cost 9797 right we have reduced that and not only that we took another position with oil and we're not even scratching the surface we're not even a a, a third of this of this cost right so we understand that taking a single position has its advantages okay what are the advantages to take a single position right that you can it's easier to manage i would say i wouldn't say easier to manage i would say it requires less attention maybe again it's not entirely true because if things go sideways you gotta watch it as much as the other positions but a single position has its advantages right but if i diverse what's the point with diverse okay why can't i just accomplish what i want in a single position and that's it to save the trouble and the analysis and the risk money management one position that's it what do you think that could be the problem with that why shouldn't guys i take a single position to get my target right what do you think why not a single position why do people diverse they take a bit of that they take a bit of that they put time and effort to check the budget because this question about the budget in the first place i admit i i didn't fully understand what what's the meaning behind but i think colin colin I don't know who helped me here in the audience, but I understand it a bit better. So I think that this refers to the comparison uh, using diversification. It's a, on the outside, it looks like a simple question, but it's not. It's actually a very good one. Okay. Um, why shouldn't we take just a single position and that's it? Why do we diverse and think of how to diverse and exposure and so on? Because unfortunately, guys, let me bring you the bad news we are not right all the time we are not it's not possible if you know somebody who is all of his charts are green all the time with no losses i'm willing to learn from that person but unfortunately losses are part of trading so what we do is we split the odds and we want few streams of profits or loss one position can lose more maybe yeah maybe but the idea here is to be able to manage it a bit more uh with diversification okay so if i'll take this position it's true i can make big i can lose big okay but if i diverse i have two assets that if some one of them is consolidating or one of them is uh a bit slower than I expected. It could happen, guys. This this happens on daily basis, on hourly basis, right? Better odds, maybe. Yeah, not to put all your ass, uh, your eggs in in one basket. Exactly, exactly. So uh, the answer to this question: How can I check the budget? Okay, so um, comparing the margin impact versus uh your available 
margin and we're going to paste it yeah even though maybe i'll compose in the margin impact versus your valuable margin for uh your tized assets to get to your targets okay uh what was the other question yeah how can i make a good strategy this is exactly you see it connects all of the questions that i have received today just connects magically one to each other how can i make a good strategy guys let's suppose that i'm looking at the first question the first uh, position that we had with gold is that a good strategy taking a single position we said no right how can I make a good strategy? A good strategy will be that if my target is, um, let's say, $500. So what I can do is I can look at crude oil and I can say, as an example, I think 75 can happen. I should expect 18 a week, right? Is an example. Maybe it's a bit far-fetched. Let's go for something a, a little humbler. Yeah. And we're going to take, instead of that, we'll take 0.25. Okay. Let's just change it this way. There we go. We can even make it a little lower. A little lower this way. And we can reduce to 20. Okay, and that, now that's very close. <clears throat> so we have two, we have two with two twenty, uh, two thirty-two stop loss could be somewhere here as an example, right? Maybe a little here. No, that's still not the exposure that I need. And I will show you guys why. Show you guys why in a second. Yeah, that makes more sense. Maybe even 74.5. Okay. Right. Now I'm going to switch to. So I have one position. Who can. Let's see who can help me here from the audience. Right. Take profit. Sorry buy at uh, 75 right take profit stop loss here we have um, 77 which will possibly can lead to 232 and we have 74.5 which can lead to 268 right which is a bit not sure how i feel about that let's let's make it this way yeah now we're going to take the other position with gold we're going to try and compose it according to this strategy in this strategy i'm using five percent exposure and my profit ratio that i'm aiming for is five hundred dollars with both of those positions okay so i'm diversing hope uh, i'm using diversification for both of those positions to lead me to 500 altogether so that means that if i'll switch back to gold again must click sell or buy right i've got no information i gotta change the crosshair here i forgot to mention that usually i give a nice guide through but today okay we haven't done that you see this crosshair i can change it from no crosshair to crosshair and then i have the the crosshair okay with the numbers now because i have the other position with uh, i have the other position with oil let's see what we have done 232 and 218 so that means okay we're looking at the chart 1958 let's suppose that we're going to go for ten dollars up 
maybe even 20. Okay, and we're gonna change that 10 to 15. Oops, yeah. Okay, and the stop loss can be, it's a little, it's a little uh, there we go. I think, no, we're still, we're still somewhere there. Yeah, but that makes sense. It, it's pretty much, it's pretty much where I wanted it. Okay, so again, I'm, I'm not, uh, analysis is not, is not included in, in this exercise, but you can see that if I'm looking at the numbers, it's it's a good composition because it helps me get to my numbers, right? Again, nobody could know if it will work or not, but regarding the, the budget comparison and the results, take profit, Okay, so the results are um, let's see, two ninety two and two thirty two. It's approximately. Let's do it a little more precise. There's the calculator. There we go. Okay, and right. Usually, I don't do questions regarding um, regarding uh, strategies because it takes a lot, a lot of time to explain the process. But today, I wanted to give you just on a nutshell, an example of how it works. Uh, the results, this could be an example of a strategy, okay, that I'm using. So the potential loss, which is my exposure, is four and a half out of 10,000. Do we have any questions, guys? And the profit ratio is 5.2, right. So do we have any questions regarding that? How were you able to pick those numbers so quick? Um, uh, this is a good question. How, how how I was uh, able, but the answer is that I just wanted to give you an example. This is not live numbers that I would take a position with. There is still need, I still need to do analysis on top of that, and I need to see if those are really the assets that I'm using and the potential movement if it's uh, in the range. But I just wanted to frame an example for a good strategy. Okay, I can't you know that this variation is one of probably millions of variations, millions. And people don't only diverse with two positions, they can diverse with five or 10 and to use many, many different numbers. But uh, like I said, this is an, as an example. Instead of taking a single position with gold, which could be a different strategy, right? What did we had? One lot with gold as an example? that could lead us to four and a half thousand profit or 2000 loss or God knows what. So this is the example that I'm choosing now. Um, thank you for the question though. Thank you for the question. Do we have any more questions, guys? I think that the audience, maybe I took it a bit too fast. It just felt like today I'm gonna give you some treat. 
because I get questions about strategies all the time and I always explain that a, a strategy is dynamic and it depends on the plan and it depends on the person. Uh, but today I wanted to bring it black and white. Do we have any questions, guys? Otherwise, I will proceed. Well, <laughs> all right, let's just proceed. Let's just uh, carry on. I think this is pretty... Okay, so choose exposure, right? Good strategy. Uh, schedule goals. Um, risk, risk money management. Um, How can I make a good plan? Schedule goals, risk money management, and analysis. That's, I think, the basics. There are many more things. You can use Fibonacci and other indicators, and you need to include fundamental analysis and a lot, a lot of good, good things, but this is just the basics. How long does it take to withdraw, guys? Let me shock you with... Uh, from two to 10 days. Okay, this is through a wire. Let's, let me put it otherwise, to a card up to um, approximately one week. Right wire transfer maybe that's the same maybe that's that's about the same could be a day or two approximately up to a week okay Uh, how does fundamental analysis works? So guys, we're gonna taste the question and we're gonna put here previous. Forecast and actual. Before I carry on with this question, I just want to review those. Does this mean, does it mean it's always evolution? Trading is not only support and resistance, but our strategy is out there. There are probably, to my estimation, there are probably at 5,000, maybe four to 5,000 other strategies, different strategies. They are all similar and they're under the same uh, umbrella when you're using, let's say, there are few trading styles, right? I think we spoke about it many times before. So we have scalping, right, intraday. And we have swing, right? When this is hourly, right? Maybe minutes even. This kind of speak for itself. And this is weeks months and years okay so each each of those um umbrellas i believe that has a thousand or more strategies underneath so what i showed you is an example of maybe intraday weekly okay an example for scalping would be if i'm looking at Euro JPY is an example. 
Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch. See right here, I have the time frames. I switch to five minutes candle. And we have a lovely consolidation area here. Beautiful, beautiful consolidation area. As you can see here around the 154.74 to 154.641. Uh, this is five minute candle. So with this trend, I can assume that it potentially heading down, right? As you can see, this is give or take the range. Uh, and then I can assume that it will jump back up as an example, right? So now it's going down, could be up then. Okay, this this is five minutes candle. So this is very different from the strategy that I uh, showed. Okay. Swing. There is no need to need uh, to uh, uh, there is no need to show swing because it takes weeks and months, we, <laughs> which we don't have. We practically have 13 minutes to finish the webinar. So, yeah. Um, but for your question, what other strategies out there? Thousands of strategies. I just don't have even the the ability to summarize the strategies. But you can explore. You can explore. Put down in Google what strategies out there. They're gonna, and you will see how to take a profit without closing the trade. This is something I can show on MT4, MT5. Okay, but in here that requires me to open a position, which I can't. Do we pay for Ava Protect? Yes, yes, we are paying the fee we are paying a fee when using the product okay and the fee is determined by the number of and the time Laugh coverage. Okay, that's what I'm going to show you on the chart in a minute. Okay. Um, where is the chart? Okay. Right. So let's suppose we want to cover. So how does it work? Our protect exactly. So our protect lets you protect the position up to two days. Okay. If I click here on the box, if I click here on the golden shield, it's gonna let me choose the time. So that's. Oh, it, actually, it's one day for this currencies. We're still adjusting the product, so sometimes it's gonna show you one day. Sometimes you can begin with one hour. That depends on the asset. But let's suppose that we want to cover it for one day. And we have 025. Now let's suppose that we want to change it to half a lot, right? Sorry, there we go. So that will cost more money, 161. If I reduce it to 0.1, so it costs less money. If I increase, what, what, watch what happens with the fee. If I increase to two days, then you see 32 became 40. Okay, so that means that the fee is determined by the number of units. I'll change it to one lot. Oh, that's much more money, right? And by the time left that I, um, yeah, that I'm using. Okay, all right. So where is the last? Okay, so the last question: How does fundamental anal analysis works? So let's look together at something called economic calendar. Right, it's right here at the left uh, side. Okay, this is kind of a globy icon thingy, the discovery. And in here, I can get analysis views and market buzz and Forex features ideas and economic calendar. So, the economic calendar, what it does is just a second, we'll let it load is it presents you the future and the past uh, events and articles, which I can categorize by either a state or a, uh, I can search. So as an example, we're gonna go for a non-farming payroll. So just non-farm, I think it's enough. And this is the most recent 
this is May, this is June, and this is July, I remember. Yeah, that's that's what we need. Okay, and we have the actual forecast and previous. Let's just jot it down here. So the previous is 306. And the forecast was 250. And the actual, this is thousands, right? 200,000 jobs, right? Just to be clear. And what came actual is that, right? So who can tell me how does that, how does that has any connection with anything? And why am I showing you that when the question is, how does fundamental analysis works, right? Who can tell me that, guys? Let's look at the dollar. Let's look at the uh, gold as an example. This is, it's been a week ago, right? Let's me, let me switch back to days, right? think it was here that was the announcement okay yeah so guys um who can tell me what why i showed you the oh i need to stretch it can i take it to the other side oh there we go That worked amazingly. Okay, there we go. So guys, in the white bubble, in the white bubble, okay, we are looking at how does fundamental analysis works. This is the non-farming payroll July. Um, okay. Now, um, the last report came 306, which was crazy high compared to the this actual with 100,000 difference. And 250 was the forecast. So if it would have uh, if it would have been 260, which is higher than the forecast, perhaps, the market would have moved differently, okay? But because the actual is 209, which means less jobs applied than expected, not only than expected, it's also less than previous. So it's less than previous and less than expected. So what or maybe how, just a second, how does that affect the economy? Right? Who can tell me how guys does that affect the economy? Come on, I wanna I wanna I wanna see some answers. Then I'll know how to respond because I don't want to say things that are a bit co too complicated. Tell me, what do you think? that was the effect in this scenario when there are less jobs applied, not only less jobs than the previous, but also less jobs than the forecast. What do you think? Negative impact. Okay, negative impact. I understand. But how does that affect the dollar? How does that affect the dollar? And furthermore, why are we looking at gold? Who can explain to me that? Okay, okay, okay. There are lots, lots of answers. There are lots of answers. Um, okay, when there are more jobs, is it a positive thing for the economy or a, a negative thing? 
Let's begin slowly. What do you think? Less jobs, less money. Exactly. Exactly. In other words, in other words, in other words, more jobs, better economy. More jobs, more people paying taxes. More jobs, the economy is cycling with the currencies and with the market and with the world. Less jobs means the other side, right? Vice versa. So when there are less jobs, we understand that the economy is still in a problem right and if it's in a problem so that means that the dollar is possibly weakening okay and if it's weakening how does that has any impact on gold which is a commodity desirable commodity but still a commodity who knows how how the gold has any connection with the uh, sorry how is how is the dollar has any connection with the gold right it's a safe haven, exactly. It's a safe haven. You want to tell us, Malia, what 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 is a safe haven? What is a safe haven? Okay. So when the gold is weakening, people has tendency to invest in gold as a safe haven, right? So it's not a formula. That every time it happens, so the gold will rise like that, but it makes sense. So when you see a report that, as an example, as you can see, the non-farming payroll is a major event. It's not an event; it's a report. But never mind. The impact is significant, so the market can uh, can uh, respond to uh, like that. And this is a beautiful uh, timing because you can see it in every first Friday of every month. Okay, typically. Typically, as far as I'm concerned, for the past decade, uh, every Friday, okay, of the first, sorry, not every Friday, uh, not every Friday, every first Friday of the month. But this month, it was on the, uh, it was on Saturday. This is why it was postponed to the following week, which was previous week, right? Okay, all right. So, uh what i can do how how do i paste the the answer though let's see forecast mm -mm -mm -mm. we have okay so we have previous forecast and actual Okay, so how does analysis uh, works? We have previous forecast and actual. According to that, we can expect how the market will move. I'm so sorry, guys. There is no, there is almost no other way for me to possibly explain how it's how it how it works. Fundamental analysis. This is basically the most elegant way because any other if I'll put something specific here it, it wouldn't make sense okay so in the in the last two minutes guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you the links as promised this is the education center to carry on and learn more this is the uh, login and deposit if you're still a beginner and you want to uh, Activate the account. This is for a real account if you're still on the demo. And this is for the academy to see more videos and more tutorials regarding the platform or something else. And lastly, I will give you the Q live QA benefit to enjoy a full market review with your senior account manager. And this is a person which you can get when you activate the account. So, guys, our time is up for today. It's been a pleasure. I hope that uh, that I could get all of the questions, even though I know that I couldn't get all the questions, but at least I tried. Um, and that's it. All that's left for me to do is to wish you a good week to make a lot of profits. And that's it. Have a good day. I'll see you next week.